Let's get straight to the point. Number eight, the snooze button trap, torturing your own brain. Aw, oh, look at you, hitting that snooze button like it's a bonus happiness switch. You think those extra nine minutes are a gift from the sleep gods? Wrong. You are actively choosing violence against your own biology. Here's the deal. When your alarm goes off the first time, your body has likely finished its last REM cycle and is prepping to wake up. Your temperature rises and cortisol spikes to get you moving. But when you smack that button and drift back off, you trick your brain into diving straight back into a deep sleep cycle. Then, bam, the alarm screams again a few minutes later. You are ripping your brain out of deep sleep violently, causing a phenomenon called sleep inertia. That groggy, zombie-like feeling where you can't remember your own name? That's not because you're tired. It's because you left your brain halfway in dreamland. It's like starting a car engine, turning it off, and violently restarting it ten times in a row. You're just destroying the starter motor. Studies show that this fragmented snooze sleep is less restorative than being awake. By trying to get more rest, you are guaranteeing you will be dumber, slower, and crabbier for up to four hours. Stop playing games with your circadian rhythm. Number 7. The Bathroom Scroll – Swiping for Hemorrhoids Admit it, you have spent so much time on the toilet scrolling through Instagram that your legs fell asleep. You probably waddled out of the bathroom walking like a newborn giraffe. You treat the restroom like a private office, but your body treats it like a torture chamber. Here is the ugly truth. Toilet seats are not lazy boy recliners. They are designed with a hole in the middle, which means there is zero support for your rectum. When you sit there for 30 minutes watching cat videos, gravity causes your blood to pool in the lowest point of your body. This creates massive pressure on your anal veins, leading to painful, swollen hemorrhoids. You are literally trading your rectal health for TikToks. And it gets way nastier. Let's talk about the fecal plume. When you flush without closing the lid, microscopic poop particles spray up to six feet into the air. Guess what catches them? Your phone. That device acts like a petri dish, collecting E. coli and salmonella while you play Candy Crush. Then you wash your hands like a good boy, but you grab that poop-covered phone immediately after. Later, you press that same screen against your cheek to make a call. Congratulations, you just rubbed toilet germs into your cheek. Do your business and get out. Number six, mouth breathing, transforming into a Neanderthal. You are sitting there right now, slack-jawed, sucking air through your mouth like a tired vacuum cleaner. Close it! Breathing through your mouth isn't just for panting dogs, it is actively making you uglier and unhealthier. When you bypass your nose, you miss out on nitric oxide, a molecule produced in the sinuses that helps your lungs absorb oxygen more efficiently. Mouth breathing delivers cold, dry, unfiltered air straight to your lungs, which your body absolutely hates. But the real horror show happens inside your mouth. Saliva is your teeth's best friend. It washes away acid and bacteria. Breathing through your mouth dries it out like the Sahara, creating the perfect playground for cavities. It's called dry mouth, but let's call it rotting teeth syndrome. Even worse, if you do this enough, you can alter your facial structure. Your jaw recedes, your face lengthens, and your chin disappears into your neck. You are literally breathing your way into a weak chin. Use your nose. That's what those two holes are for. Stop trying to catch invisible flies. Number five, eye rubbing, squishing your vision away. Oh, that sweet relief when you dig your knuckles into your itchy, tired eyes. It feels amazing, doesn't it? That is because pressing on your eyeballs stimulates the vagus nerve, which slows down your heart rate and relieves stress. But while you are enjoying that little massage, you are physically wrecking the most delicate structure on your face. Your eye is not a stress ball, it is a fragile bag of jelly. When you grind your knuckles into it, you spike your intraocular pressure ridiculously high. Here's the scary part. You can literally rub your way into blindness. Chronic eye rubbing weakens the collagen fibers in your cornea. Eventually, the cornea loses its shape and bulges outward in a cone, a condition called keratoconus. Instead of needing glasses, you'll need a corneal transplant. And let's talk vanity. The skin around your eyes is thinner than paper. 
Constant rubbing breaks the tiny blood vessels there, giving you permanent dark circles and wrinkles. You'll look like a frantic raccoon for the rest of your life. Plus, your hands are filthy. You're just massaging staph bacteria directly into your tear ducts. Stop it. Blink hard or use drops, but keep your fists away from your face. Number 4. The Lava Shower – Cooking Your Own Skin You step into the shower and crank the handle all the way to Mordor. You stand there until your skin turns lobster red, thinking you are opening your pores or melting the stress away. Spoiler alert, you are just melting your face. Your skin has a natural protective barrier made of oils called sebum. It acts like a raincoat, keeping moisture in and bacteria out. When you blast it with scalding hot water, you strip that oil layer away instantly. You are essentially dishwashing your own body with the settings on heavy duty. Once that barrier is gone, your skin becomes a cracked, dry desert. This leads to eczema, flaking, and insane itching. And here's a fun fact for the guys. Your testicles hang outside your body because they need to be cooler than your core temperature. When you boil them every morning, you are nuking your sperm count. You are literally contracepting yourself with hygiene. Plus, hot water weakens hair follicles. That hot water blasts open the hair cuticles, making your hair frizzy, brittle, and prone to snapping off. You are paying the water company to make you go bald and wrinkly. Turn the knob down. If the mirror fogs up instantly, you're doing it wrong. Number 3. The Back Pocket Wallet – Sitting Your Way to Sciatica Take a look at your back pocket. Is there a leather brick stuffed in there? Some of you are walking around with a wallet so thick it looks like you're a smuggling a ham sandwich. You shove that thing in your jeans and then sit on it all day. Do you realize the mechanics here? You are forcing your pelvis to sit on a permanent slant. One butt cheek is elevated while the other drops, which forces your spine to twist laterally just to keep your eyes level. You are turning your vertebrae into a structural disaster zone. Doctors actually have a name for this specific stupidity, wallet neuropathy. Directly underneath that mound of expired coupons and maxed out credit cards is your sciatic nerve. It is the longest nerve in your body and you are crushing it like a garden hose under a car tire. This triggers piriformis syndrome, shooting electric pain down your leg, numbness in your toes, and a literal pain in the ass. You are destroying your lower back just to carry around a library card you haven't used in six years. Move it to the front pocket. Your spine acts as a pillar, not a leaning tower of Visa cards. Number 2. The Post-Meal Scrub – Sandpapering Your Smile You finish your morning orange juice and toast and immediately sprint to the bathroom to brush your teeth. You think you are the gold medalist of hygiene, right? Wrong. You are actually scrubbing your enamel straight off your face. When you eat acidic foods like fruit, coffee, or soda, your mouth turns into a chemical acid bath. This acid temporarily softens the hard protective shell on your teeth, leaving them mushy and vulnerable. It is a process called demineralization. When you stick a stiff toothbrush in there right away, you aren't cleaning, you are eroding. It is exactly like taking rough sandpaper to wet drywall. You are physically scraping away the enamel layer. Once that enamel is gone, it never grows back. Underneath the white enamel is a nasty yellow sensitive layer called dentin. So, by trying frantically to keep your teeth white, you are actually scrubbing them yellow. Irony is cruel, isn't it? Dentists call this tooth erosion, but let's call it overachiever syndrome. Rinse with water, wait 30 minutes for your saliva to neutralize the acid, and then brush. Your breath can wait, your enamel cannot. Number 1. The Smartphone Slump – Growing a Horn Look at you right now, chin tucked to your chest, neck bent at a 45 degree angle, staring down at your glowing rectangle. You look like a sad shrimp. You are actively suffering from text neck, and it is destroying your spine one pixel at a time. Your human head weighs about 12 pounds, roughly the same as a bowling ball. When your spine is upright, it handles that weight easily, but physics is a cruel mistress. For every inch you tilt your head forward, gravity multiplies that weight. At a 60-degree angle, your standard tick-tock scrolling position, that 12-pound head exerts 60 pounds of force on your cervical spine. That is like carrying an 8-year-old child around on your neck for 4 hours a day. Your neck muscles were not built for this. 
They strain and tighten, leading to chronic headaches and nerve pain. But here's the gross part. Your body adapts to this torture. To handle the constant stress, your body starts building extra bone and fatty tissue at the base of your neck to support the weight. You are literally growing a hunchback. It's scientifically called kyphosis, but let's call it what it is, a permanent tech hump. Keep scrolling down like that, and you won't just have bad posture, you will be permanently shaped like a candy cane. Lift the phone to eye level. You might look ridiculous holding it up there, but at least your spine won't snap. All right, you walking biological disasters, that's the list. Now that you know exactly how you are slowly destroying yourself, do something productive for once. Smash that like button. It burns fewer calories than stressing out about your receding chin. Hit subscribe and ring the bell because we post videos every single day. And frankly, looking at your posture, you need all the help you can get. Share this with a friend who is currently hunched over their phone like a gargoyle. I'm Coolest Dude Explains, and I'll see you tomorrow. Try not to melt your skin off before then.